Welcome to the studio at ITU Telecom World 2017 in Busan in the Republic of Korea where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mohamed Madkour who is VP for Global Wireless Network Marketing for Huawei Technologies. Mohamed, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now I'd like to start off by asking you about the future of the industry. How do you see the future of the industry developing in the next five to ten years? Well, actually, great future. Uh, I mean, I'm very bullish and optimistic. And actually, I'm glad that you mentioned industry without mentioning the type of the industry, because the way I see it is it's going to be enormous change in all industries. But if we first talk about uh, telecom industry, uh, I wanted to start by saying that there's still unaddressed segment when it comes to connectivity and broadband. Uh, just to some data point, like uh, by 2025, we're looking at connecting two, more, two billion more people to the internet and about five million more household also. Um, that's mainly in emerging markets, but that's only from people perspective. But we're also looking at connecting uh, sensors that are attached to any physical device that is used by people in their daily life. So by doing all of this, I believe we will reach the really, truly better connected world. This is from telecom industry, but, but, but the thing is, this change that's happening and the disruption that's happening on that decade by the fast pace of technological innovation will also affect other industries. Um, I would say uh, telecom industry can affect uh, transportation industry, energy, uh, health, financial, so all of those can be uh, affected by this advances and, 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 and the operators need to transform those kind of changes into business opportunities. How should operators and carriers uh, transform and adapt? Well, yeah, so, so uh, uh, let me start by the theme that ITU have this year, which is the smart digital transformation, which is basically the only thing that can get the operators or the telcos to uh, the point that they can have business sustainability. The way I look at transformation, it is not a destination. It's kind of a journey of bunch of changes um, that will change carriers' personalities. Um, I would say that that change can address three aspects, can address uh, technology, can address business, and they can also address operation. So um, uh, this is really needed for business sustainability, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the, the acceleration for that change is fundamental. Uh, so it is not the matter of why do I do it, it's the matter of you know, when can you do it and how fast uh, you will do it. Uh, talking about transformation itself, we should not underestimate the transformation of other entities in the ecosystem. Uh, I would say, I would say, it is not limited. Transformation is not limited to only uh, individual body. I think it, it 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 will touch all aspects. We can see even contents, even devices are transforming. You know, even vendors are transforming their way of living. Uh, industry organization need to transform. Um, uh, the, the last but not least, regulatories and, and policies also, uh, they need to uh, transform in, in, in a way to provide a very fair and transparent uh, policies that, that encourage uh, this kind of environment uh, as a whole. And what do you think are the greatest challenges for the carriers? Yes, so um, there is no mistake about it. It's not a, a journey in the park. You know, transformation, you know, it's, it's, it's a good cause, but uh, there are two roadblocks. I would say the first one is the conflict or maybe the imbalance between the long-term transformational goal and the immediate performance results. You know the pressure on the telcos to achieve certain financial uh, KPI. Um, that's a first roadblock, but I believe the second roadblock would be the culture uh, resistance from inside the organization because, you know, the, the telcos have been in a comfortable, profitable zone for a long time and, and it is very hard to change. So I believe that this point, if we address that by bringing in talents that, that, that really understand that failure is not the end of it, 
and that would be uh, would solve that uh, second issue. So those are the two challenges I can think of right now. And finally, what's the value of attending events for you, uh, such as ITU Telecom World, and what you, would you hope to achieve here? Uh, so that's 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 very important. But to answer this question, let me tell you uh, something about uh, why we what, what do we believe in. Uh, we believe that we cannot achieve this transformation for the whole industry by ourselves. Um, we, we, we address, we focus on three points. We focus on cultivating uh, application and services. Uh, we focus on uh, opening a standard and uh, virtualize the platform that allows those services to run on top of it. And we also um, believe in the integration between multi-vendors. So, uh, and, and all of those actually address the two uh, assets or the two strengths of carriers, which is connectivity and the cloud. Now, uh, we, beside that, uh, when we design our solutions or actually our ecosystem that we provide to carriers, we consider um, the cross trends between different things, between content, service, infrastructure, um, even between government needs, regulatories, uh, all of those things. All of what I mentioned now, I guess this is the value for your event. So um, ITU brings in uh, many leaders at different levels of the value chain. Uh, they represent uh, different bodies in the, in the industry ecosystem. Uh, if you couple that by uh, good topics like, for example, emerging markets, uh, like uh, how to maximize the value of what the operators have, uh, how to reinvent, how telcos can reinvent themselves, I think that kind of a mix uh, will, will, will bring the value that not only Huawei will perceive, I think the whole industry will perceive. So I uh, would like to thank ITU for the good work that you guys have here in Busan. Well, we thank you for your support and for being here in the studio today. Of course. And wish you the very best of luck with it. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.